CNBC Africa's Nozi Pombanja spoke to Ashish Thaka, founder of the Mara Group at the World Economic Forum, and asked him about attractive African markets. This is what he had to say. Uh, Atlas Mara now has banks in seven countries across Africa. Uh, we are um, kind of working a lot on the technology side, on the front end and the back end, putting an intelligent layer of technology in. We, we're sticking and we're on track to create, a, a, be a positive disruptive force in line with public policy in the financial services sector on the continent. Let's talk about the markets that have surprised you, maybe by just the receptiveness, uh, and uh, maybe if there are, uh, there are markets or economies that have surprised you by just maybe being a bit difficult to penetrate. Do you know, you won't believe when Bob Diamond and I were, when we, Bob and I were actually came up with the concept of Atlas Mara. We always knew we would be welcome to an extent by governments, by regulators, by targets that we want to get into, by talent and by investors. On all five of these fronts, we've been overwhelmed in terms of the response we've had. Every government has been super supportive. They've been so welcoming. They understand and appreciate the kind of value we can bring to the table. Bob with his global expertise and real passion for Africa, Mara's real expertise on the continent and passion for Africa. The combination is quite a strong one and the team that we've been able to build over the last year, John Vitalo who is our CEO, Arena McDonald who is our CFO, Brad Gibbs and the entire team. So we've been able to build an amazing team, get amazing institutional capital behind us and be welcomed by all regulators and targets. We're actually overwhelmed. So when we were in Gaborone, it was quite warm, uh, very beautiful weather. We're in the snow this time around. What are you hoping to walk away from with uh, for at the end of this particular week? Hence the five layers. But uh, Bob and I are here together. We're, we're obviously flying the African flags very high, making people realize that the perception versus reality, what we've achieved in just one year, we're still a year old. Um, yet we've been able to do so much. Um, at the same time, just really kind of connecting with the right types of people, setting the right, changing the narrative of Africa as a whole, uh, and making people realize the real potential that's out there. Of course, I'm sure you're also demystifying uh, some of the myths that uh, those who are not in Africa perhaps still hold. Uh, what's the biggest one that you think you're having to push against for investors standing on the outside looking in? I think not only investors, even corporations who want to come into the continent I think and the biggest issue has been the Ebola uh, crisis when you think about how the continent got generalized yet only three of our countries are being affected yet the entire continent gets scarred the fact that Cape Town has had cancellations just shows you people's knowledge is so limited so putting that narrative straight making people realize that listen we're a continent not a country we're 54 countries and only three of ours are affected of which the three of them combine account to 0.8 percent of our continent's GDP yet the entire entire continent gets scarred for this and it's our responsibility as the private sector to also put our voice behind this and make that difference. Finally Ashisha, there's been a view that uh, the that Africa as the new growth frontier has somewhat been knocked off the, the spotlight pedestal here at WEF and that the focus has gone to other more pressing issues. Has that been your experience from the conversations that you've been having over the last day or so? Not at all. I think the contrary. I have seen so much more African representation. It's a shame obviously Nigeria is not here but for obvious reasons because of the elections coming up so it's completely understandable but other than that we are here in full force I mean even the Africa welcome reception was four times bigger than last year right so I mean it's a great sign that we are well represented people do take us seriously we have a seat at the table now it's our turn to actually make a difference with it well that was Ashish Taka who is founder of the Mara group